Okay, guys, I am back for more battle mode. Slim Kirby here, by the way. Uh, still with Bomberman64. Been having a good time with this battle mode. I'm actually pretty happy that the videos have not had any issues yet. I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but I never really explained what happened. But um, I was having like a lot of issues recording this for some reason. I don't know if it was my capture card, I don't know if it was my N64 system, I don't know if it was my cartridge, but for some reason my game just kept randomly resetting. And like, I ultimately think it was my cartridge because, I mean, I've used my capture, capture device for like, you know, streaming and a lot of other things and I've had no issues anywhere else. And you know, I figured it could be the N64 with just like maybe a cord being loose or something. But then it's just like, well, it's only doing it for this game. So I just kind of like took the game out. I just made sure it was more securely in the 64. And I think it's fine. I mean, again, I haven't had any issues or anything. So let's hope that the uh, issue is, you know, taken care of now. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, continue on with what we're doing here. We're playing battle mode. Uh, we've played the first five stages. Uh, we've done uh, some single player and we've done some uh, team matches as well. Um, I'm going to stick with a couple of uh, single players for right now. Um, maybe I'll do another multiplayer later. But again, or not multiplayer, but um, team battle later. But the problem is that none of these really seem that good for team battles, if I'm being honest. So again, we'll, uh, we'll see how I'm feeling about that. But let's do uh, Field of Grass. This is the last... Uh, um, base game, or, well, I mean, I guess all game, all courses are base game, but, you know, without unlocking, since you unlock the other four courses. And the gimmick for this one is that there's a bunch of grass, um, sometimes the, uh, grass can shield where your bombs are, so that can be kind of tricky to deal with. And you can also just kind of kick bombs off, which I guess is kind of a, you know, unique thing you can do for this particular course. And much in the same vein, you can also, um, I believe, um, knock other players off. By doing that. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that worked, honestly, but yeah. That is something you can do um, in most of the courses. Like, you can do that in the first course by throwing them over the wall. Here it's easier to see that you can do that because again there's just a you know there's no railing here. I can maybe even do it again if I want to. Ooh, that bomb actually almost got uh, the black Bomberman character right there. I know that like some of these characters have like actual names like in the Japanese versions, but like I don't know those. <laughs> I only know them by color because, again, that's what we referred to them when we were younger because, you know, again, they didn't have the names. I don't think even, like, the ma manuals, like, even said what the names were. I believe the uh, sudden death for this is just the meteors raining down, so... We technically don't really need to see it, but it has been a while since we have seen it. Uh, another thing that happens is whenever a uh, computer player, um, or whenever the ghosts, uh, whenever it reaches sudden death, the ghosts disappear. I don't think I've actually mentioned that um, fact yet, but that is something that happens. And, oh, what's this? Oh, damn. I was not expecting that. Um, I did pick up the um, advanced skull power up there. I don't know if you really saw it, because again, it was like hidden in the grass. I don't think it... I couldn't really tell what it did. It may have like increased like the firepower for like all bombs to like max or something, because I did notice a huge uh, bomb explosion at the very end of that. I know there is, like, also one, um, power-up that has, like, blinking and flashing lights. Uh, 
Oh shoot. Just trying to pick that up, but it's like, well, maybe I shouldn't. Uh, I'm scared. Okay, I'm fine. I'm no longer scared. <laughs> also, people in the comments section can p probably be happy now because I'm actually doing the kick bomb strat in like the faster way. So apparently if you tap A uh, twice, you can actually just kick bombs without doing the uh, lay a bomb and run at it strat. Which the game does tell you that. It's just... I was always just used to doing it that way because that's how it's done in other Bomberman games. And, um... Not only is it that done that way in other Bomberman games, but also just, uh... I'm just used to doing that from being a kid, you know, when playing this game. That's how I always used to do it, so... For all those screaming in the comments section, hey, you can double tap A, I know. It's just, again, muscle memory from a kid. So, try not to take it that personally. That I wasn't doing it your way. It's just the way it is. But, you know, I, I definitely am starting to try to use the other way more. It was definitely useful doing it in, like, some of the, like, you know, adventure mode stages, too. Like a Rainbow Palace and everything. Um, you know, I'm going to try something for this next one. Uh, we are going to do a team battle, though. <clears throat> and uh, I think, once again, we're going to be all by ourselves. And we're going to go to In the Gutter. This is the first of the four courses that you can only unlock by 100%ing the adventure mode. So, normally you won't have these. I kind of actually knew that these stages were like, though. Despite never 100%ing the game before, because... Um... Wait, where's the crystal? I don't know where the crystal is. Well, I'm just gonna... Okay. The crystal has gotta be, like, right here, though. Where is the crystal? The red crystal. Is it here? Oh, here it is. So yeah, the annoying thing about this stage is uh, the current. Oh man. I don't know what happened right there. Okay, I need to protect my crystal, like, now. I need to protect my crystal, like, five minutes ago, honestly. And I might actually lose this. Not quite. Hold on. It's not over yet, because I'm not dead. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I should win this. Yay! I love how the I love how orange picked up the heart at the very end of that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think um, sudden death actually works on team battles. I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to see if I can win this by actually being, like, just up here the whole time. Without even moving. Ugh. Okay, that should get it. Oh, I totally got this. I didn't even have to move, guys. <laughs> I just stayed up on my little platform the whole time. But I'll go ahead and see what the other, uh... The other effect is. The sudden death effect. And I don't, I don't think I'll do any more team battles since, again... 
Uh, I don't think they're going to be that interesting on the other stages anyway. And yeah, as you can see, the walls are closing in. That was fast. That was very fast. <laughs> and once again, I didn't have to move from my platform either. That's like the king's throne right there. Of course, if you want to get power-ups, you can't really, you know, do much with that from up there. So that's the one kind of downside, I guess. Not that I needed, like, an upside or anything. But yeah, we'll just, we'll just stick to doing single battles for the rest of this. Uh, so next up we have Seasick. Uh, for this, uh, the boat is rocking. When the boats are rocking, you know, you don't go and knock him. I think that's when the cars are rocking. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly kind of disappointed in the AI. The AI just doesn't really offer that much of a challenge, it seems like. this does oh I love oh I love this effect oh we got a draw draw but yeah you uh, for that effect you just uh, you turn into a flaming missile of sorts and you can just like run into other players and kill them but if you hit a bomb the bomb will automatically explode and that could kill you so you have to keep that in mind yeah, you can't let that, uh... You can't 100% use that to your advantage. And see, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you kick bombs. That is how you kick bombs to victory. Oh yeah, that's right, the first match ended in the draw. <laughs> I was like, wait, how are we still going? Did I set it back to three again? Oh, no. No, a little more going on here than that, I'm afraid. Oh my gosh. Oh sweet, I got that. Oh god! Oh wait, how- Red got that, or- Okay, we all have red bombs, except blue. So, okay, we don't all have them then, but me, me and Black Bomber have red bombs anyway. And boom, you're dead. I'm gonna see if I can maybe, uh, last the duration of this one. Ooh, let's see what that effect does. Ah, oh, this one. Okay, we had this effect earlier. I didn't really call attention to it. <clears throat> but, um... We all just, like, randomly get stunned. Every, every now and then. Which, for this, uh, sudden death effect... That's admittedly not the best, but... <laughs> thankfully, uh... Thankfully, I was in a good position, at least. There we go. That was, uh... Seasick or something? Seasick ship? Or just seasick. Okay, never mind. Uh, next up, we have Blizzard Battle. <laughs> Ready, go. Looks like, I guess, we're at, like, White Glacier now or something. And I want to say this is one where the walls close in on you. That would, uh, that would be my guess based on, you know, just seeing those walls over there on the sides. Okay, yeah, but that, that, uh, that skull was the can't lay bombs effect. And much like the, uh, first stage we did with the water current, here we have the, uh, 
wind. The snow wind. Also from White Glacier. I guess Blue won that one. I think everyone's won at least a match so far. Because Orange won a match, Blue won that sudden death match. So everyone's won a match, I've just won a majority of them. And we even had a draw as well, which was kind of cool. Yeah, they don't even just blow you left and right, they like to blow you like diagonals too. Kind of got greedy, wanted to pick up orange right there. Oh man! Oh. Oh shoot. Yeah. Oh god. Yo! There we go. And see, blue could have actually won this series if I actually took a death right there too, so... That was actually pretty close. <clears throat> um, but yeah, overall, I mean, I think this battle mode is interesting. I, I, I definitely had fun with it as a kid because of, like, nostalgia for, you know, playing, you know, Bomberman multiplayer with my family back in the day. But, you know, I wouldn't say this mode is amazing. I definitely think the adventure mode is the highlight of this game. But, um, you know... Ah, oh, God! I... Well, Blue won the series. Or at least won this series, anyway. I guess I had, like, the max firepower or something, like, effect from the skull. I guess that's what was going on there. Because I wasn't expecting, like, such huge blast before it was too late. So, yeah, Blue's gonna take that one. I'll do a very quick sudden death match just to showcase the effect and everything. But, um, yeah, as you can see, the walls are closing in. But yeah, like, I mean, I don't think this mode is, like, really, like, as good as, like, the traditional, like, grid style. I mean, I guess it's still kind of like a grid. It's just more of a 3D grid. But, you know, I d definitely prefer, like, Super NES or just other, you know, versions of the Bomberman battle mode compared to this. But, you know, for its time, I mean, this was definitely interesting. <laughs> You know, 3D was definitely the big thing back then, and, you know, this was a way to really showcase that. And some of the levels that have, like, multiple tiers and everything is, are, they're pretty cool. It's just, uh, again, kind of wish that computer AI was a little better, but, you know, they weren't amazing at, you know, programming that stuff back then as they are probably these days. Uh, so now we have Lost at Sea. <clears throat> And uh, this stage can be kind of annoying because the uh, aquarium glass is kind of treated like ice a little bit. So you have to be uh, very careful with how you uh, move on it. I want to get that part, but it's a little too late. Okay, well, the blue bomber is definitely getting second place because he won a series. Oh man, Black Black Bomberman just like completely played himself right there. Oh, da man, Blue is making a comeback here. I guess that time of being on my team at the very beginning when we did those team matches 2v2 I guess that kind of showed them that oh hey maybe maybe I can learn a thing or two from my old partner okay well he's not gonna run away with this one at the very least Oh, he is still alive. Nice try, though, Blue. Blue is trying to, like, get the victory there. Or not really even get the victory since he, you know, can't win now. Or just can't win this match now. But... Let's try and uh, at least mess with him a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 
God, how many times has the blue bomber died? <laughs> okay, just me and orange now. Okay, there we go. Well, this could be the final match right here, unless we, you know, have to do a sudden death match or something, but... Oh, that was quick. That's two of them now. Okay, it's me and blue. Oh, shoot. Okay, gotta get away from them. Orange kind of helped me right there. <laughs> I don't know why, because I was clearly the dom dominant player throughout the whole thing, but it is what it is. Okay, well, there we go. That is Bomberman, everybody, or Bomberman 64 Battle Mode, to be specific. Uh, once again, we're going to do a very quick match on this one again. I want to say it's going to be meteors, but it could be the wall. No, it's going to be meteors. Yep, it's meteors. And it's a tie. <laughs> just doesn't have the same effect as Mario Party. Draw! Although, you know, this game and Mario Party were developed by Hudson Soft, so... Okay, just gotta get rid of the Black Bomberman. Ah, okay, well... Apparently Black Bomber is, like, the best at sudden deaths, because he won the most of those. Well, I, I think I won the most of them, but like, aside from me, he won those. So overall, I'd say me first, blue second, uh, black third, and orange last. Okay, well. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna do it for battle mode, and you know, until I make a final decision on hard mode, I think that's going to do it for Bomberman 64. Um, honestly, it was fun coming back to this game again. It was really nice to finally get all the gold cards and finally 100% this game properly. Um, you know, there is a possibility I might come back from hard mode at a future date and time, but for now, I'm probably not going to worry about it at this moment. I kind of want to get started on my next project, which uh, should be ready for you guys soonish um, I know I have like kind of a vacation coming up so that might you know also interfere with a few things but uh, I'm gonna try to get some videos ready before then at the very least but um as far as the next time you'll see me in the Bomberman series you know um, not counting you know potentially coming back here for hard mode um, the next N64 Bomberman game is actually Bomberman Hero, which is a game I played not too long ago on stream, like a few years ago, and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it, and, um, you know, I might, uh, well, I mean, I am going to do a Let's Play of it, too, just because I did a stream playthrough. That doesn't mean I'm not going to do a Let's Play of it, but uh, that will probably be my next uh, Bomberman Let's Play. And it's a pretty fun game. I think it actually has an even more enjoyable adventure mode than this. I don't know if it actually has a battle mode, though, which is kind of weird. But, uh, you know, it's a very unique uh, Bomberman experience. And it has, like, a really great soundtrack, too. But, I mean, so does this game. So, <laughs> that's not really saying much. Uh, but, yeah, Bomberman Hero will likely be the next uh, Bomberman game I do for the channel. Um, unless I decide to do, like, one of the other, like, you know, short and sweet Bomberman games, which there are a couple. I know I never did Bomberman 2 for, I think it's on the Game Boy, not NES, but there is a Bomberman 2. I know there's uh, some Game Boy Bomberman games as well, but only time will tell when and if I get to those, so. 
just kind of be patient with me on that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the bombastic playthrough of this game. And um, I'll see you guys for the next one, whenever that may be. This has been Slim Kirby. See you guys later. Later, folks.